What's up guys? It's your boy Quesadilla Padilla here with another quick video. Today we're going to do an unboxing. Uh, what we have here in front of us is a Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, but before we do an unboxing, I want to talk about a little bit about the Raspberry Pi 4. Um, I do have a Raspberry Pi 3 here in front of us. Um, for those of you who don't know what a Raspberry Pi, it's more or less a single motherboard computer that allows you to run um, emulation such as uh, this program called RetroPie. Um, and you're able to do a lot of other cool stuff with it like um, build robots. You could do coding on it. Um, there's so many different things that you could do on this little amazing machine. But this one here in front of you guys, this is the Raspberry Pi 3B. The one in the box is the newer model, the Raspberry Pi 4. Let's talk about some of the differences. So on, on the Raspberry Pi 4, I believe um, they decided to go with two um, micro HDMIs as opposed to one HDMI. Um, and the reason behind that, I believe it's you're allowed to do dual monitoring on it, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Um, differences on the USBs, these all four USBs here on this uh, Raspberry Pi 3, these are 2.0. Um, on the Raspberry Pi 4, I believe it has two 3.0s and then the other two are 2.0s. Um, another major difference as well is this Raspberry Pi, it comes in two models. Uh, it's a Raspberry Pi 3B and there's also a 3B Plus. But with the Raspberry Pi 4, they actually have three models. They have a... Uh, Entry point one at $35, which only gives you one gig of RAM, which this also only has one gig of RAM as well. Um, the second model um, on the Raspberry Pi 4 is $45, and that gives you two gigs of RAM. And the one that we have here in front of us, guys, this is the uh, four gig RAM model, and this one goes for $55. This kit here went for about 100 bucks. Because um, it provides me with everything that I need. Um, another another major difference that they also went with is this one is micro USB. And I believe the Raspberry Pi 4 is USB-C. Alright, with that out the way guys, let's get her open. Alright, right off the bat. We are greeted with the um, Dear Value customer. Thank you for your purchase. Then here we have a uh, Read Me First. Ensure you connect your micro HDMI cable to the main port marked HDMI. Um, okay. I'll do that. So here, guys, this is the... Uh, micro HDMI to full HDMI cable. I opted to go with the um, 32 gigabyte micro SD. Um, this one already has uh, Raspbian included in it. So um, that's pretty awesome. Here is the Raspberry Pi 4 kit. Let's open her up and see what she looks like. This looks like your standard Raspberry Pi case. The Pi 3 cases look like these as well, guys. Okay. Oh, this, this pops open. So you can get your pie in there. Pop that back in. Here we have some heat sinks attached to our power supply. So this is a uh, USB-C power supply, guys. What do we have here? Oh, we have a little fan. Um, from what I'm told, these things do run quite a bit hot, so that fan is going to come in quite useful. 
What is this? Hmm. A pie switch? Oh, this is a, a little uh, on and off button um, for the pie. Awesome. Check that one out. What do we have here? USB, uh, oh, micro uh, SD card reader. Awesome. Don't need one of those, but come in handy. I'll leave that to last. So here we got a quick uh, start guide. Uh, but this is the usual, so we'll just push this to the side. What we really want to get to is to this. So here is the uh, Raspberry Pi 4 Model B, 4 gigabyte RAMs. Like I was telling you guys, they decided to go with two micro HDMIs and they went with a USB-C. Motherboards look pretty much the same. I mean, the only difference I'm, I see is also on the GPIO pins, uh, the uh, general purpose input in and out. Um, that one's a little bit different than the Pi 3. Yep. So there's uh, the, the 3.0s, and these are the 2.0s. Ethernet port is still the same. So underneath, guys, this is where you attach the micro SD card where you would run uh, RetroPie from. All right. So this is the uh, Raspberry Pi 3. What I'm really looking forward for is for this to be able to run some of the games that were really laggy on this. Like, um, for instance, Dreamcast. Uh some N64 games. So at, at the moment, I'm downloading a 120 gigabyte uh, image from Wolf and Nose. Um, once that's done, I'll be making a review video on that. But in the meantime, I'll, I'm going to show off um, what... So this is my Pi 3. This is my Pi 4, uh, just so you guys know. Um, this is what this one is going to go in at the moment. Um, but I still love my Pi 3. The reason why I love my Pi 3 is because they make some awesome cases for these guys. Like, for instance, um, and I go back and forth. I switch back and forth all the time. Um, so here... I have a SNES case, you know, um, the Pi sits inside the SNES case, there's the fan. The only downside to this model is that the controllers come out from the side, which look a little bit awkward, um, but everything else, um, it just, to me, just looks awesome. Another awesome case, guys, is the Genesis case. I mean, this, look at the beauty on this. Um, the thing I like the most about this is that it's really, uh, all, the bunch, all the buttons are pretty much functional. You can turn it on and off. I mean, you can reset the pie. And another awesome thing is this volume button here is, if you push it down, it opens up that little slot there, and you can put extra uh, micro SD cards in here. Now this one is a little bit different on the inside. Um, they reconfigured it um, to make it to where you would have the controllers in the front, which is pretty awesome to me. Um, the only downside is 
you don't really get access to the Ethernet port. I mean, you kind of do. It's here on the bottom. You know, but you kind of still have uh, wires hanging out. I mean, if you are going to use the Ethernet port. Yeah. Show you guys what this looks like on the inside. It just looks badass, in my opinion. All right, guys, that was my video on the Pi 4. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and a like. Check you guys out on the next video. Peace.